you beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I wanted to do something for all of my American subscribers out there. Hi guys. I'm in the weirdest mood today. I don't know what is going on. Basically I wanted to do an American beauty haul for you guys just to show you my top American favourite brands at the moment and just to share with you guys some products that I have been loving at the moment. So I thought because there are so many of you guys who are from America and subscribe to my channel that it would be only fair if I do an American beauty haul for you guys. Just a disclaimer, all the stuff that I have got, you can, not all of it, but most of the stuff you've got, you can get from the UK or you can get it shipped to the UK. So yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know because I've got it all here, so yeah. But anyway, I'm not gonna pick it out in any order at all. I've literally got a bag full of products down there and there is so many. So I'm not gonna keep chatting because I always do that, I'm just gonna sort of share with you guys what I've been loving at the moment, and yeah, that's it. So if you guys wanna know my favorite American beauty brands at the moment, then please keep watching. Oh, my hair looks awful today, I don't know what is going on, it's got a mind of its own. Also, my jacket is from Misguided, if any of you guys wanted to know. So the first thing I am gonna share with you guys is this BH Cosmetic Carly Bible Palette. Now, They've stopped selling this one, but she's just done a new one where I think you can pre-order from her website. And it's basically got all of the same colors, but she's added more, which is so cool. And my best friend, Jessie, got it for me. Well, she ordered it and it hasn't come yet, but I don't know when it should come, probably at the end of the month. But um, anyway, I'm so excited for the new one. But if you didn't manage to get your hands on this one, then you can pre-order her new one. This isn't sponsored or anything. Um, but as you can tell, I have so many of these and I use them every single day. I don't want to use them too much in my tutorials because I feel like I stick to so many of the same sort of brands in my videos and people get a bit annoyed at me. <laughs> um, but on a day-to-day -day basis, I always use this palette. These three here are my favorites and this highlighter, I've got it on now, it's just incredible. I'm obsessed. Um, I don't know why I got two out. Don't know, I just got two. Don't know what happened there. But yeah, this has been a favorite of mine for so long and if you weren't able to get this one, then make sure you pre-order her new one because it's got all the same shades this one has and more. And I'm so excited. Ah! I can't wait, I'm literally buzzing. The next product I wanted to share with you guys is from Scentbird. You might have heard of these, you might have not, but I think it is so incredible and I have been so, so, so excited to share it with you guys. I'm going to show you a little demonstration of what it is, how it works, all that kind of stuff, and then I'll go into detail of the whole thing about it. This is the little pouch you get, and then this is the case. If you look up close, it's such a pretty pearly colour. All you do to use your fragrance is you twist it up, and then you spray. Another cool thing about it is you can just pull it out, and then you can change this to a different scent, pop it back in, and then twist it, then you're good to go again. So basically, I'm just going to explain what Scentbird is, how it works, and all that kind of stuff, because I'm probably making it sound a lot more confusing than it is. So basically, Scentbird works for different fragrances, so you can pick your favourite fragrance each month. It is a subscription you can get, and you can cancel it at any time. The subscription is $14.95 each month, which is incredible. And basically, you can pick different fragrances each month that are this size, and they are 8ml. There are over 400 and 50 diff uh, uh, I can't talk there are over 450 different fragrances you can choose from like Guerlain, Gucci all that kind of stuff there are so many you guys need to check out the website because it's incredible I will leave all of that information in the description below and you guys can check it out basically it is a subscription you get each month and you can pick different fragrances each month of what you want Personally, I think this size is incredible if you want to fit it in your bag. And for me, I, <laughs> it's like, I'm the same with my nails. I change my mind to what fragrance I want, like, every day. I'm like, no, I'm bored of that already. So for me, I think it's perfect to have a smaller sort of amount, even though this is quite big, um, for your handbag. And you can change it each month and pick the style or your fragrance that you want to choose 
for that month. It comes in such a cute case that you can adjust and change it and like I said, it's just perfect to fit into your bag. It's incredible. I think this is such a good idea because for me, I've got subscriptions with magazines. I used to have them with like boxes you get each month. But for scent, I think this is such a clever idea because I get bored of scent really easily and I will definitely not use all of this in a month. So even when your new scent comes, you can take this one out, pop it to the side, wherever you don't want it, put your new one in, and then you've still got the other one left as well. So when you change your mind, you can just go back to each one you want. The subscription can go on for as long as you want and you can cancel it whenever you want for free. And also you get free shipping, which is amazing. So it's literally $14.95 a month. Another bonus that I've got for you guys, if you click the link below in my description, you will get 25% off your first purchase, which is incredible because it's so cheap anyway and everything it comes with I just think it's such an amazing idea I personally I love it the scent that I have here is the Mon Guerlain which is from Guerlain if you haven't smelt this scent you you need to smell it it is incredible I am obsessed do you know when you're like oh my god I don't want to use that perfume up because I don't want the smell to go but it's fine because you'll get more perfumes the next month. So you can just spray away. Oh my God. I just love it. But it's just, it's just my favorite. This is the Guerlain one that I have in here. If I honestly, if I had to pick any scent, it would be this because I am obsessed with jasmine, vanilla. And I feel like this is such a classy scent that you can wear for a date night or even in the day. Like it just, oh, this scent for me, I would wear whenever, wherever, I love it. This lives in my bag. I use it all the time. And I'm obsessed. So yeah, if you were looking for a monthly subscription for scent, which is the best idea ever, then I will leave all of Scentbird's information in the description below for you guys. And you guys can check them out and get 25% off your first order with my code. So if you use the link in the description, you'll get 25% off. Oh my god, that was like the biggest mouthful to say ever, but I just, I just want to go on and on about it because I think it's such a good idea. I love it. I, I'm just so impressed. I think it's amazing. So yeah, I love this. So cool. So the next thing that I wanted to share with you guys is contour. I have been loving two at the moment, which are from America. This one is from BH Cosmetics. Can you tell I like BH? <laughs> and this one is from NYX. Now I contour slash bronze every single day. I sort of do a mixture together. I don't contour then bronze. I just do it. I just sort of mix all the shades together then hope for the best. But yeah, I have been loving these two at the moment. They are powder contour, which for me, I prefer because I feel like it doesn't go patchy. Um, I would say that I cream contour if I'm going to an event or probably on a night out. But most of the time I use powder because I feel like it's a lot quicker and it's just easier in my opinion. And these two, I like how there's different, they're very similar, uh, which is why I wanted to show both of them to you. But they've all got really similar tones at the top. The yellow powder on both of them are incredible. I always use the yellow powder under my eyes. Um, and I just literally mix all of the contour colors together. So. I have been loving these at the moment. So if you need to get your hands on a good contour kit slash bronzing kit, then these two are incredible. Can you see? <laughs> so if you follow me on Snapchat, which if you don't, then you definitely should. I went to a NYX event a couple of weeks ago and we all got some incredible goodies. What is this bit of hair doing? It's got a mind of its own. For one of the goodies, we got this, these drawers, I should say, full of the NYX liquid lipsticks. Now, if you've watched my videos for a while, you will know that I'm obsessed with the NYX liquid lipstick in shade nine, mixed with Rimmel Cappuccino lip liner, which is what I have on now. But all of these colors I am so obsessed with, and just genuinely, the NYX, the NYX? The NYX liquid lipsticks, the formula of them are incredible. And I feel like if you're looking for a really good formula of a liquid lipstick, then definitely try out NYX because one, it's affordable, it's so affordable, and there are so many varieties of colours that you can choose from. I prefer nudes, in my opinion, but like the consistency, 
just the brush and everything I am obsessed with and I feel like they've just got it spot on I prefer the consistency to these than the Kylie Jenner ones just saying like, I love them I think they're incredible so yeah I just wanted to share them with you guys if you're looking for a good NYX li bleh, liquid lipsticks then go to NYX and try out a few. The next thing that I wanted to share with you guys are from Urban Decay. Again, if you've watched my videos, you will know that I am, um, there's one bit of hair that I clearly haven't curled in the right direction and it's there on my face and I literally, that's all I can see, is it gone? Anyway, <laughs> like I was saying, you will know that I am obsessed with Urban Decay. I love their products, I love the formula of them and the packaging, just everything about them I am obsessed with. These three in particular, I have fallen in love with and if I could use them in every tutorial, I would. They're that good. So my favorite Naked palettes are Naked 2 and 3. Actually, I only have two and three. <laughs> uh, there's the first one and there's a smoky one, I think. Um, but yeah, I only have two and three, so they have to be my favorites because it's all I've got. But I just wanted to share them with you because I feel like if you're looking for a better, higher brand eyeshadows, then you need to check these two out because they are incredible. They range with shimmers, mattes, the colors are different and I'm just obsessed. I find myself going back to these a lot. I also wanted to share with you this Naked Illuminator Trio palette, 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 palette from Urban Decay as well. Um, they are like sort of domed, but as you can see, I don't know if you can see it there. These two are no longer domed because I use them that much. I mainly use this one on my body, like on my chest. Oh. I've got hair in my eye. On my chest, if I want to be a bit more glowy, or add it on as bronzer and highlighter. And the pink one here is such a pretty blush colour. This one isn't as domed because with blush, I literally like tap it and then I put it on because I don't like too much blush. But for a highlighter kit, which is so pigmented, it's a joke, um, then you definitely need to try this because it's amazing. And I always use this on my body, especially this one, because you just look so glowy on nights out. I'm like, where is my trio illuminator palette from Urban Decay? Because I need to be glowy. <laughs> so I always use this. I've got more palettes here. I'm just gonna talk about all the palettes now and then move on to the rest because I have a lot of palettes which I have been loving at the moment. So I just wanna quickly share them with you. The first two are from NYX. They are the perfect filter ones in the shade Golden Hour and Rustic Antique. So these two are so incredible i used them in a couple tutorials back what one did i use it in i think it was the golden goddess i used it in the golden goddess um they are so pigmented so pretty and i feel like if you guys are looking for they do so many other ones of these as well but if you're looking for a really really pigmented palette which is really affordable then check out nyx because you will get your money's worth and i have been loving these at the moment so yeah, love these two a lot. The next one is the Kylie Jenner Burgundy Palette. And this one looks like this. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen this before. I used it in my video ages ago. And I have so many palettes in my drawer. It's a joke, so many. And the ones, like my old palettes, they always get shoved to the back because I buy so many new ones or I get sent new ones that I just put it on top of my drawer and then I forget about all the palettes that I used to like. Is that just me? It just, I don't know why I do that. And the other day I was doing my makeup and I came across this peeking out the corner and I was like, oh my God, I love this palette so much. So it is definitely one of my favorites. I feel like all the shades are so me. I feel like these shades are really, really in this like spring. Um, so I'm definitely gonna do a tutorial on this look very soon. If you'd like, let me know if you'd like it, but I just love this palette a lot and I feel like the colors are beautiful, so love. The next two I haven't used in a tutorial before. They are quite new. The Kat Von D I've had for so long and I forgot about it. And the other day I was like, oh my God, I forgot about the Kat Von D one, but I'm using it again, so don't worry. But this one is from Maybelline and it is the 24 karat nudes. It's so incredible, guys. Just, just take a moment, are you ready? 
I am definitely going to do a tutorial on this really soon because the colours are incredible. Even this mustard one, they're so pigmented, really creamy and I've never used Maybelline... I don't think I've ever used Maybelline eyeshadows before. The colour palette just drew to me because I love how different it is. It's not all the same sort of tone. There's a different variety and the pigmentation is amazing. They're quite creamy and I just love them. I think they're so good. So I'm going to do a tutorial on those really, really soon because I think you guys will really, really like this palette. It isn't sponsored for me to say this, but I do think you will like this palette. And then the Kat Von D one is the Shake and Light palette. Just, I'm obsessed with her packaging. She, it's just incredible. But it looks like this. I'm going to show you guys the swatches for these because they're the creamiest eyeshadows I think I've ever used in my life. It's like putting cream on your eyes. Are you ready? They're just incredible. They're so creamy, so pigmented. I mean, what more do you want in eyeshadows? It's just, they're just incredible. I'm obsessed. So, um, I love this palette and I will definitely 100% do a tutorial on this because I think you guys need to try it for yourself. Just, even if you just feel it, like, it's so creamy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love it. Don't worry guys, I haven't got too much stuff left. I've literally got it on my lap, so this video won't be much longer. The next thing I picked up the other day, and I've got on right now, is this eyeliner from NYX. It looks like a pipe, doesn't it? Like, it looks like you could actually smoke that. Not that I smoke pipes, but do you know what I mean? Like, I, I saw this and I was like, what? Basically, I'm going to demonstrate really quickly how to use it. So you basically just pull this off and then the eyeliner's there. It's meant to help you with your eyeliner. And there's a little, like, resting section here. Put your finger and then you can do your eyeliner like that. And it does help for beginners. This is the NYX Curve Eyeliner and it's amazing. I might do a tutorial on this because I feel like it will benefit a lot of you guys and it's a really really cool invention so I am really really happy about this. I picked it out the other day and I was like I need to tell you guys about it because I love it so yeah. The next things I picked out were from Maybelline as well and they are incredible. Oh my god. I need to share them with you guys because I am obsessed and I was like I need to add these in a favourites because even though I haven't showed them to you guys I love them I've got them on now basically these are really really similar to the iconic London illuminator drops but the formula is a little bit more of a creamy consistency as opposed to more of a liquid so basically these will last you forever. I'm going to show you. i got two different colours. i got light and medium. Guys, you're just going to... You'll love them. And another thing I like about them is you can actually mix them together. So I have got the mixture of the both of them on together with the Kylie Bible palette over the top and... They are incredible. They're so, look at my hand, <laughs> but they're so amazing. I love the consistency and I feel like they're going to last for so, so long. So if you're looking for good sort of highlighting drops that are in your price range, then definitely check those out because I think you guys will love them. The next thing is from Max Factor and it is a powder. It's sort of like a powder foundation, but with powder foundations, I personally don't like on its own. I always have to have a liquid and then I'll pop, if I want more coverage, I'll pop a powder foundation over the top. But this one is from Max Factor and I feel like this powder is a dupe for the Bobbi Brown one, which I have used in my tutorials before. I think I used it in my last couple makeup tutorials. Um, but I feel like it's so similar. I have the shade 3 Natural. I think I would go to number 2 because... This one is a little bit more bronzed, so I would definitely go for number two for me again, when I buy it again. Um, but I really, really like this. I feel like it's a good base for your bronzer. So yeah, I'm loving this. The next two things I also got from Maybelline the other day were these nail varnishes. Now I always wear gel, but at the moment I have this on. This isn't sponsored for me to say it, don't worry guys, it is my opinion, my own opinion on it. 
Um, but I have been loving the Colour Show 60 Seconds Nail Varnish. The thing I hate about nail varnish is waiting so long for it to dry. Like, I hate it so much. With these, I got distracted, started touching things, and then I was like, oh my god, my nails are wet. And I looked, and they were fine, because they actually dry so, so quickly. You just gotta make sure you do small coats each time, and it's absolutely fine. So yeah, I really, really love these. The colours are incredible. Um, in my next tutorial, you will see my nails in this colour because I'm going to paint this tonight. So I'm really, really excited. The next product I am going to share with you guys is this mascara from Max Factor. And it is the Masterpiece Max. And I always use the L'Oreal Telescopic and the Bare Minerals Lash Domination. I went to Max Factor the other day and picked out loads of bits and I forgot how good it was because when I was younger I used to use all of their products and I was so impressed. So the mascara one looks like this. It's quite a thin wand but it coats every single lash. It doesn't go clumpy. It's not clumpy at all, it's like the least clumpiest mascara. And it's just a really, really good mascara. I really, really like it. There's not much you can say about mascaras, but it's not clumpy. It really volumizes your lashes. Um, and yeah, what more do you want in a mascara? I picked this out from Maybelline as well. And it is the Fit Me Foundation in the shade 220. I am obsessed with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 as well. And I think this is 220. So this is the only concealer I use because I swear by it, I love it. So this is definitely a favourite. I'm sure you guys knew that was coming. So yeah, Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is a favourite. But because I love it so much, I was like, why don't I try the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation? Um, this is brand new. I tested it out in the shop and it was amazing. Um, I thought I'd add it in this video because of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And I just wanted to see if this one was any better, like the foundation, because I love the concealer and I don't know, I feel like the foundation would be amazing because the concealer is. So even though I haven't used this properly yet, I wanted to share it with you guys that I got it and that I'm thinking of using it in a tutorial soon. So make sure you look out for that because I love the concealer and I'm so excited to wear this, so. So guys, this is the end of the video. If you have stayed around till the end, then I love you and thank you so much for watching this very long video because I feel like I've just rambled on because I like talking and when I start, I can't stop. So I'm sorry for rambling on again and thank you for watching until this point because I love you. So yeah, thank you guys so much. If you have enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up and also subscribe if you are new to my channel, I upload two videos every single week which are beauty related and I wouldn't want you to miss out, so make sure you subscribe. And this video is dedicated to all my American subscribers. Hello! Thank you guys for subscribing. There are so many of you that watch my videos. It's crazy. So many. So I want to say thank you for watching my videos and for supporting me. It means so much to me. And if you are from anywhere in the world and you wanted to get any of these products, I'm sure they all ship to you. So I will leave all the products that I've used in the description below for you guys. And also make sure you check out Scentbird, which I will also leave in the description below with my 25% of code, which will just be on the link, so make sure you click that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video, which I've just rambled on most of the time. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!